It's August and this is the Library Road Show. On the show today, it's all about keeping your brain engaged and writing that covers the gamut from creative writing to cover letters. Welcome to the August edition of the Library Roadshow. I'm Mary Stein, and this is a production of your East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. It's August, so let me remind all you students, parents, and teachers, librarians are standing by. We've got you covered with resources in print or online for every age and subject, plus free online tutoring. The teens and kids pages on our website go into all the details. I'd also like to invite you to participate in an internet speed test from your home or work computer. The info collected by Consumer Reports will help local planners figure out where the gaps in access are. Our business forum speaker for August is Patrick Lencioni, best-selling author and organizational health expert. He'll share his insights into building a health culture critical for any business. Register online for this virtual program, which takes place on August 11th. And once you register, even if you can't make the live stream, you'll have access to the presentation afterwards. Also coming up this month, Butterflies in the Gardens, Harpus at the Main Library, and the Civic Orchestra at Blue Bonnet. Plus, we're ramping up our genealogy and history programs with everything from the Battle of Baton Rouge to the Negro Motorist Green Book. For more details, check out the August edition of The Source, either in print or online. Free access to books, audio, and library resources are just a few of the benefits available to you when you get a library card. Need free access to a computer? You get that. Want free access to premium digital resources like Mango Languages and Lynda.com? You get that. Need to book a meeting space? You get that. Heck, you can even check out a telescope or use a digital printer with your library card. If you live in East Baton Rouge Parish, pick up your free library card from your local branch library today. Premium access to everything the library system has to offer is waiting for you. For every kind of service or resource that the library offers in the real world, we also try to offer something to parallel it in the digital library. So since many of our programs are designed to stimulate the brain and get those creative juices flowing, we search for a digital platform that could also engage your brain. It's time to find out more in the digital download. Train your brain and have fun doing it with Brain HQ in the Digital Library. It features 32 brain training exercises and nearly 900 unique levels. Brain HQ focuses on six core areas of cognitive function attention, brain speed, memory, people skills, intelligence, and navigation. Through fun games and exercises, you can keep your brain sharp. The exercises and assessments have been shown beneficial in more than 140 peer-reviewed articles in medical and science journals. You create a free account with your library card, and once that is done, you can use BrainHQ on a computer or conveniently through a free app in the Android or Apple Store. BrainHQ is designed to be for everyone. Each BrainHQ exercise continuously adapts to an individual user's performance, challenging the user with progressively tougher activities. To check out Brain HQ, head over to the digital library page at ebrpl.com. This free database complements all of the other Feed Your Brain activities presented by the library. We're invested in your healthy brain, your healthy heart, your healthy body. There's plenty to choose from. And don't forget, we've got the facts, too. We're holding a new virtual training session on the Baton Rouge City Key on August 18th. This library-produced database is a local community resource filled with data to support your own research, grant applications, and community health improvement information. Let's shift gears and check in with Kayla Perkins, reporting in from Beyond the Stacks. Your library's got something for everyone at all ages and stages. We're at the main library for a special writing in color program just for our seasoned patrons. Let's check it out. 
I'm Sin Ella Agassi. I'm the Director of Education at the Arts Council of Greater Baton Rouge. We are here at the main library because we are collaborating. It's the Arts Council with the library to provide the creative aging uh, workshop with the name of Writing in Color. Writing in Color is a program designed as part of the creative uh, aging sessions that uh, we offer at the Arts Council. And it serves people who are 55 years and uh, better. So. Uh, the program serves a broad uh, range of people with different skills, different backgrounds, many of them who are uh, professional, but they are retired now. And in this uh, particular workshop, they are here to just explore and expand their skills in writing, as well as some basic photography skills. It is very important for people of all ages to have mediums and platforms to explore their creativity and be inspired. So we are very happy that through these programs we can help and uh, with positive aging and just create those uh, platforms, those uh, opportunities for people to gather and have a sense of friendship throughout these workshops and also build really important and useful life skills. Uh, all the opportunities uh, which are upcoming will be listed at, at the Arts Council website at artsbr.org and uh, we are very excited that we will, be, um, we will be having more workshops coming up both in writing and uh, other art forms and we'll definitely be announcing them soon because uh, the class this time it, we reached our maximum capacity and there are so many people who are on the waiting list eager to get in so we cannot wait to provide more opportunities. For them. We are extremely grateful for the partnerships with the library because if it wasn't for this we couldn't offer this as easily and we couldn't make it as accessible to people because a uh, library reach, uh, reaches out to so many uh, people and this way we can market the program to a more diverse uh, group of people and through this opportunity we can uh, make our program stronger and offer it in a more accessible and especially with the charging fees. Wow, couldn't you just feel the creative energy in the room? To find out what's coming up next, pick up a copy of our monthly newsletter, The Source, or visit us online at www.ebrpl.com. We've been so proud to host this series. Keeping those creative juices flowing is just one other way to keep our brains engaged as we age. Our collaboration with the Council on Aging and the Arts Council of Greater Baton Rouge goes way back and they never disappoint. Stay right there. After the break, Jessica McDaniel joins me for a chat right here on the Library Road Show. The East Baton Rouge Parish Library believes that free entertainment is good for us all. That's why we make ebooks and audiobooks available for free through the Libby app. Grant free access to unlimited streaming music and video through Freegal, Canopy, and IndieFlix. Get a library card. Get free entertainment at ebrpl.com slash digital library. As the nation's doctor, I often get asked, what should I do if I think I might have coronavirus? People who are sick should stay home. You don't go to an emergency room. You don't go to a clinic. You get on the phone and you ask for advice and instructions from your physician. We don't want you to go into the ER or the doctor's office without talking to them first because you might spread coronavirus to someone else. Please visit coronavirus.gov for more information. You're watching the August edition of the Library Roadshow, everything you need to know about your local library system. Now, for the past few years, we've highlighted a special format of printed material that blends storytelling with art. Jessica McDaniel, our community programming librarian, has all the info about our salute to graphic novels and comics. Okay, Jessica, let's talk Mid-City Microcon because it's on. It is. We're so happy it's in person again this year. Mm -hmm. Live and in person. Live and in person. It's always live, but we love to, we want to make sure that we incorporate a little bit of virtual with it. That's right. Well, so what's the focus this year? Our focus this year, we've partnered with the Capitol Park Museum mm -hmm. and their Smithsonian Institute of Traveling Exhibition Services. It's so special. Yes. Baton Rouge really got a coup getting landing this exhibition. Yes, the exhibition is the Negro Motorist Green Book. 
And we are so excited to work with the museum and Rodney Nahart, the division direc director, who will be joining us for a panel uh, mm -hmm. on Sunday. But that's not the only thing we have going on. Right. So tell me more, because I sure like things like bespoke cosplay. I like anything bespoke. Well, with this event, we have sessions, mm -hmm. we have our cosplay contest and showcase, mm -hmm. and then we also have an arts and comics market, which we're really happy to be back in person this year for that. Mm -hmm. So for our sessions, we have cosplay, which means we have a maker workshop mm -hmm. with some local makers, Claire and Megan, who will be making some programmable LED headbands. I love that. You don't have to have any experience to join. You just come in mm -hmm. and we will help you just out. Just bring these. Yes. Okay. Uh, we also have some... Uh, experts in the arts and comics from a variety of uh, experiences and backgrounds. So we have voiceover actors. We have. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. So you, I mean, you, when you read graphic novels, often a lot of people watch anime, mm -hmm. and so we were able to get Afia Yu, who is oh. a prominent voiceover actor. She's play. She's acted in uh, shows such as One Piece and My Hero Academia which is some pretty popular shows. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so we have voices, we have uh, drawing, we have writing. You're even going into um, uh, kind of behind the scenes and business uh, business plan, That's planning right. for artists and authors, um, and some information on world building, which if you read fantasy or science fiction, it's all about creating a new world and, and doing it from the nth degree. Um, it, also on popular video games where you're building worlds. But with graphic novels and comics, it's there for us all to consume. And I, I love doing the creative world building uh, exercise uh, and workshop that we've, we've got going on. So who's the audience for this con? This is not the same kind of con where you just roam around and see superheroes, is it? Well, uh, not really, but we love, we love our superheroes. They're we, welcome. We encourage people to cosplay as whomever they would like. Okay. Our audience for this con, although we aim towards teens and adults, mm -hmm. uh, all ages are welcome to participate in cosplay and to join in. So if I brought um, my grandson, it wouldn't be, he wouldn't be bored. Correct. Um, s some of the higher power workshops are not for him. Probably but not. roaming around and looking at what people have brought, anyone, any age, any interest would be uh, would enjoy that experience. So when is this actually happening live and in person? So uh, normally we have it on one day, big, lots of things happening at once, everyone here at once. We wanted to keep everyone safe this year, so we spread it across two afternoons. It's okay. August 7th. Okay. And August 8th. So Saturday and Sunday, the mm -hmm. first weekend in August. That's right. And do you need a ticket? You do not need a ticket. As with all library programs, it's free to attend. You just come, bring yourself, and bring your passion for comics. Okay, so how do we find out more? Because there's a schedule. I know there's a website. There's, there's so much more. How do people get into the details? Well, to find out more, you go to ebrpl.com slash mcmc. That's our info guide. So we've got the schedule. We've got links to previous years' uh, schedules and last year's, all the recordings from that Yeah, because event. you could just visit that again. And those panels were so interesting. I, I, I missed it in person, but I really loved the panels. So, so this, that, that's the little COVID lemonade that we're drawing from this. We will be taping some of these, uh, these workshops and pushing those out. So even if you can't come in person, the website will tell you how you can kind of play along with us for the Mid-City MicroCon, right? So thanks, Jessica. It's a great lineup. I really will pull out my superhero cape and put that Mid-City MicroCon on my calendar. After the break, Leo Honeycutt, plus book reviews from one of our younger library patrons. All that and more coming up next on the Library Road Show. There are 16 million children struggling with hunger in America. That's one in five daughters, sons, neighbors, and classmates who don't know where their next meal is coming from. Yet billions of pounds of good food go to waste every year. It's time we do something about it. Feeding America is a nationwide network of food banks that helps provide meals to millions of kids and families in need. Visit feedingamerica.org to help them feed even more. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. 
The East Baton Rouge Parish Library believes that staying informed is good for us all. That's why we provide free access to the New York Times and other national newspapers online. Permit free access to niche magazines and articles through Press Reader. Get a library card. Get informed at ebrpl.com slash newspapers. Welcome back to the August edition of the Library Roadshow. We were all saddened last month to hear that former Governor Edwin W. Edwards had passed. He died at his home in Gonzales at age 93. His was an extraordinary life that my next guest documented. Leo Honeycutt spent years with the former governor writing his official biography, and Leo joins me now by phone. Leo, how did you get your start as an author? Actually, I started, it must have been back in junior high school when I started writing uh, school papers, and then I was the editor of the high school paper, and then I wrote my first novel in 1999 uh, based off some stories from Barry Seal uh, about uh, the drug smuggling operations in North Louisiana, North, uh, North America, which then, of course, is translated later to a movie, but they didn't use my book, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, and off that, uh, former Governor Edwin Edwards had read the book and had thought that it was good, and then he uh, wanted me to write his biography. So we came out with the um, Edwin Edwards Governor of Louisiana book, 621 pages, back in 2009. Uh, it became a bestseller in 2010, and we sold uh, close to 60,000 copies of that, as well as won the uh, Louisiana Literary Award. What will readers discover in your book? It's a uh, good study in political power and uh, what kind of personalities actually get into politics. And uh, it also shows the kind of um, uh, clientele, uh, the population itself, that votes for certain politicians. And it's mostly good. Um, it is a microcosm of what is uh, in the United States in general. Uh, but there is a different, more European spin on things that happen in Louisiana. What inspired you to write this book? Governor Edwards actually reached out first to find out if I would write the book, and I did have misgivings about it because uh, there were a lot of things after having covered him for about 25 years uh, that I didn't like about him. So um, we came to an agreement that uh, we would be up front and – uh, truthful with each other, and I finally convinced him that uh, it would be best if he were completely truthful with everything because almost everybody already had a preconceived notion about um, whether or not he was a crook. And so we tackled each one of those subjects, and we went after it, and uh, we published it. What are you working on next? I'm working on a book about incarceration, Louisiana-specific, primarily around Angola, uh, not just about the history, but also about the programs uh, that have proven true to turn Angola prison around from the bloodiest prison in America, which it was called back in the 1950s, really got turned around by Warden Burrow Kane in the 1980s and 90s. Well, actually, the 90s and 2000. Uh, so are there answers to this? Yes. And we are going to disclose all that in a book. How can viewers learn more about you? Well, uh, they can go to leohoneycutt.net, a uh, list of the books on there, that uh, everything from the original uh, novel, Over the Edge, through the Governor Edwards biography, and, uh, and then, of course, Jerry Lane's biography, as well as Clark Williams' biography, uh, who started CenturyLink, uh, America's third largest telecom. In all of these books, you will find some inspiration uh, for what it takes to actually get something accomplished. Uh, of course, it's hard work and perseverance, but that's only a part of the story. Thanks, Leo. Pick up a copy of the biography of Edwin Edwards at any library branch today. It's now time in the show to check in with one of our younger patrons to find out what they've checked out from the library. Hey, my name is Joshua, my, and I'm eight years old. My favorite book is Mother Bruce. He has, he has some gooselings in the eggs and the eggs hatch, and the gooselings thought that the bear was their mom. 
and then the then the bear tried to get rid of him, but it didn't work. They stayed with him forever. Bruce only liked one thing: eggs. He collected them from all over the forest, but Bruce didn't eat eggs raw like other bears. My mama brings me to the library. When I come to the library, I like to play on the computers. Thanks, Joshua. I love hearing from young readers. Plenty more books to explore. Stay right there. You're watching the August edition of the Library Roadshow. The East Baton Rouge Parish Library System believes that knowing where you come from is good for us all. That's why we grant free access to genealogy resources available through Ancestry.com. Make the vast historic resources of Heritage Quest available to you online. Get a library card. Get your family tree at ebrpl.com slash genealogy. My name is Lynette and I am a certified professional resume writer with the East Baton Rouge Parish Library's Career Center. Today, I'd like to answer the question, why should I bother writing a cover letter? We get asked this question all the time. People feel that cover letters are old-fashioned and unnecessary since all of the important information is on the resume anyway. But actually, a cover letter can help your job search in several ways. It helps you stand out from the crowd, putting you a cut above all the other applicants who didn't bother to write a cover letter. It lets you show off your written communication skills, which are an important qualification for many jobs. It gives you a chance to talk about your enthusiasm for the work, the industry, and the company, Hiring managers love passionate applicants. It allows you to talk about yourself in a more natural way than is possible on the resume, so that hiring managers begin to get a feel for you as a person and not just a piece of paper. Most importantly, if there's anything unusual about your situation, for example, if you're applying for a job in another state or one that you seem overqualified for, a cover letter provides a place for you to explain your situation and reassure hiring managers about your application. The only caveat is, while a well-written cover letter can increase your chances for success, a poorly written one will torpedo your chances. So, for more information about how to write a great cover letter, check out our videos, Introduction to Cover Letters, and Cover Letters 2.0 on our YouTube channel at careercenterbr.com slash YouTube. Or call us at 225-231-3733. You're watching the August edition of the Library Roadshow, a production of your East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. The Career Center has released almost 100 different video guides all kinds of topics related to our local job market. You can view, view them on demand at your convenience by visiting the Career Center's own YouTube channel. And the Career Center itself is available at the Main Library on Goodwood Boulevard and it is free with your East Baton Rouge Parish Library card. You can read to yourself, you can read to your friends and family, but did you know you could read to your pets and barnyard animals? Here at the Carver Branch Library, they're providing fun opportunities to help your kids pig out on reading. Let's check it out. Today we have Farmer Miner and Daisy the Reading Pig. It's one of our most popular programs. Um, I've been with the system since 2013 and I was a children's librarian before and he is my favorite program. I'm Roblin Honeysucker. I'm the branch manager for the Carver Library. The kids love him. 
my favorite part is kissing the pig and doing the little apple flavored treat and you know <laughs> it's great I love it my name is farmer miner that's what I'm known as and uh, this is Daisy who is enjoying a little rest right now but Daisy is the world's most famous pig and she got famous because she loves libraries if you hadn't noticed her license plate on her stroller because she loves books and that's really our mission Daisy and Lily Pug and, and Dixie Cup and I travel around the country trying to encourage children to read more books and what better place than libraries to do that with we've been coming to the Baton Rouge uh, area for over 20 years now we've, we've just had a wonderful time Daisy got famous because she loves books only only pig books though and every night before she'll go to sleep I have to read her a pig book I bring a few of Daisy's posters of library cards and now instead of just having a few library cards Daisy has over 1,400 library cards from all 48 states I think the magic is that she is such a spoiled rotten pig and has such a pampered life that the kids react the same they're they're in awe of a pig like this <laughs> oh, look at her. believe it or not Daisy has been sleeping right in bed between Mrs. Miner and me every night since she was a little baby I think they're also amazed at the fact that a pig and the pugs can enjoy books being read to them it sounds silly I, I absolutely agree but I don't know whether it's the sound of my voice or not, but they just seem to love to get a book read at night. It's a very good baby, huh? You've been a very good baby. Whether at a library story time or at home with your friends and furry families, the library wants to help you find ways to read together every day with your kids. Find more children's programs at your local branch library in the Source newsletter or browse the events calendar at ebrpl.com. All I can say is we love Daisy the Reading Pig, and we're so thankful that she and Farmer Miner made it to Baton Rouge to visit with the kids in person this summer. And now for today's contest, visit the library's Facebook page at facebook.com slash ebrpl. Think back to what you heard about the Mid-City Microcon. How about posting your own homemade costumes to share with the world? That's facebook.com slash ebrpl. And while you're there, enjoy. We're not your grandfather's library anymore. What's coming up on the Library Roadshow in September? A new organization series for the fall with Alyssa Trostclair. Tune in next month and I'll take you behind the scenes at another fun library program. Next month, you'll learn about another service offered at your local branch library. Thanks so much for joining us on the Library Roadshow. And remember, your East Baton Rouge Parish Library is open seven days a week at each and every one of 14 branches, plus 24-7 on the web. Check us out at ebrpl.com. And that's how we roll.